In terms of customer needs for data integration, one, if not the leading technology in this domain, is Oracle Golden Gate. This moves transactional data into big data systems in real time without impacting the performance of source systems. It streamlines real-time data delivery into big data solutions, which includes Apache Hadoop, Apache HBase, Apache Hive, Apache Flume, and Apache Kafka, and now facilitating improved insight and timely action, it can be used to transparently stream this data now directly to the stream analytics platform. For our demonstration in the world of retail, we have an orders database table that is being propagated with various sales information that is streamed to Oracle Stream Analytics using our out of the box CDC change data capture mechanism via Kafka. Once in the Stream Analytics platform, order trending revenue by product category, arranged quantity, average quantity by product, and much more is provided in real time. Here we can see our Golden Gate infrastructure actively processing database tables, additions, inserts, deletes, etc. We can see the extract and replicate processes that are all running smoothly. The information is formatted as shown here with the opt type, for example, showing whether this is an insert, delete or update operation and the related data. So let's jump into our Oracle Stream Analytics user experience and firstly configure our system settings as needed one time only for the related Spark streaming, Kafka runtime and also the available historical analytical layer infrastructure. We now create the required base connection artifact for Kafka and we'll call it GGCDC. Next, we will create another connection for a later database reference lookup called products DB. Now we can create that associated reference called product details. Note that all of these artifacts are globally accessible in the future by any new pipeline application desired. Now we create a stream for the Golden Gate related table events. Notice the stream type of Golden Gate, which has been specifically introduced to understand the semantics of the data formats arriving. Once a connection and Kafka topic has been selected, the actual data shape is automatically recognized and shown from the information payload. Any hierarchical data is automatically flattened by the system. The resultant data shape can be restructured as needed. In this case, we will delete a non-required field. OK, artifacts created and finished. Let's create the pipeline application called Orders Analysis 
using the defined stream. A quick review of the Spark Master Console indicates the dynamic construction and deployment of the created base pipeline application. The live app stream with the identified shape arrives on the canvas from the database table CDC with some fields propagated and some blank based on the transaction type. Now we want to instantly understand the business impact of this real-time activity by adding a new query stage. We will set a new business impact value and we will use the expression builder to create this new column in our live output stream with a default value of no impact. Next we will use a business rule stage to change the business impact column based on the golden gate opt type. For an insert we can set a value of new. For a delete or order status change to cancel, we can set the value to lost. We can also create rules to indicate a sale revenue upgrade or downgrade. Specifically monitoring whether the after revenue value is greater than the before value. Ok, so let's have a quick review of our new business rules. OK, with this new streaming analysis data at hand, we can create another query stage to analyse the actual business impact of the change data capture events. For a continuous sliding temporal window of one hour, using the Group By feature, we can select the individual business impact values to get the various counts. By preserving all of the associated event columns, we can combine with the aggregated data. At our fingertips, instant insight valuable information. Using the powerful capabilities of the provided expression builder, here we can extract the minute from the operational timestamp column. Notice how code complete is always available to simplify the definition of your algorithm.
We can then rename the column for downstream usage. Our goal at this point is to provide immediate trending of our new streaming data. So we now leverage the integrated visualization capabilities. For this we can create a line chart called order trends. With just a few parameters, including using the option to save as a slice for later dashboard usage, the chart is visualized trending over a minute period. More charts can also be created on this or any stage in your pipeline. So now we will build a bar chart relating to the business impact and related counts at this point in time. Next, we create another query stage to, to add more context to our current streaming information called Get Product Data. Here we correlate join with a reference, in this case called Product Details, based on a common data field called Product SKU. This stream now feeds into a new query group table stage. After providing a name, notice how through the Golden Gate integration, the op type values are automatically understood and represented. Next, the system will automatically reconcile the before and after data using a single field name mapping. Note that in respect to the database tables, this information can be dynamically cached to eliminate repeated database table interaction. Now we have a representation dynamically updated in real time upon which any type of analytical query can be performed. So let's show a group analysis showing revenue by product category over a one hour period. We can add another group showing the average of revenue by the actual product over, in this case, a sliding 24 hour period. The live output stream canvas can be easily manipulated as needed by, for example, moving the column positions and renaming the columns, changing instantly the output data shape results. As before, we can now add a collection of more visualizations. Let's kick this section off with a pie chart.
and then add a bar chart showing average quantity by product. Notice as before, we will use the save as a slice option. With this wealth of data available, the resultant stream can be sent to a downstream application for further action. And for this, we will use a target definition, which will automatically understand the required data shape from the last stage of our pipeline. The Publish button will instruct the pipeline application to be retained on the Spark clusters and push the data to, in this case, the Define Kafka topic. You can now see that the pipeline application is running on the cluster with the name suffix of public. Notice here in the Oracle Stream Analytics catalog, all of those visualizations saved as a slice are all now available for a new operational dashboard called Orders Operational DB. We will use the default look and feel for our dashboard. And once we click on the dashboard artifact, we can use the plus button, which will add the required visualization slices. Now we can see the real-time dashboard, which is easily rearranged as required, and we can save all of the additional changes. We can copy this dashboard URL and then perhaps email to the relevant personnel in your company or simply render in another browser window as shown here. So there we have it, a new created powerful pipeline application integrated with Oracle Golden Gate, providing immediate business insight to your transactional data, it's trending, and whether you are gaining or losing orders, etc. With the ability to visualize with operational dashboards or take real-time action based on the current activity. Not in days or months, but in minutes.